hello everyone and welcome back to my channel in today's video i will be showing you a small nail art supply haul and a what's inside of my nail art supplies so stay tuned and let's get into the video so the first thing we're going to do is the small nail supply haul and this is just a few things that I've, I have accumulated over the past couple of months. And the first thing we have here is the Savvy Land Rainbow Poly Gel Kit. And this Poly Gel Kit did not come with the nail file, top coat and base coat, slip solution, and poly gel brush and spatula it just came with these seven poly gel colors and off the bat back I noticed that the savvy land poly gel is on the softer side it is not like McCart where it is more of a stiffer poly gel so when using this you will have to make sure your finger is pointed down so that it does not flood the cuticles but they are very very nice and very pigmented the second thing we have here is the McCart um, nail extension gel and here I have two poly gels in the Bloomin gel so like I was saying about the Savvy Land poly gel this poly gel is more on the stiffer side and I know you guys are looking like what's wrong with your poly gel but this is exactly how it came the clear came exactly like this um, the only reason why I did not return it is because the seal was still on it but they just gave me one where the McCart brand was not on it and the second one that I have is the I think it's called spruce and it's a nude poly gel and I picked up this poly gel because of another youtuber um, I forgot her name but she loves poly gel I think her name is Vic poly gel Vic or Vic but she loves McCart and she's always using their nudes um she does have one where it's called siesta i think it's called but they did not have that one when i wanted to order it so i just got spruce and here is the Bloomin gel and this will be my first time ever using Bloomin gel i've never used the Bloomin gel a day since I started doing my own nails, which was four years ago. So, the next thing we have is a press on nail stand. And this nail stand is magnetic. And it's just a simple nail stand, it's nothing too like wow about it. The next thing we have, which is something that I love, this is actually a nail clipper. And when I tell you guys I love it, I love it. And this little nifty tool, I found out about this through a YouTuber who I watch. Her name is Glammed Beauty. I think she does. No, I know she does the Gelex. She does Gelex nails and acrylic. She's bomb.com. If you guys um want to see some really good nails, go check her out. But this thing is life. When I tell you it is life, if you ever worried about your nails being all the same size, get this this tool because I'm telling you it works perfectly so you have like the longest one this one right here is the shortest cut your nails the shortest and then it just goes up and up and up to where you um where you want to cut your nails at um throughout this video you guys are going to be seeing a an a and an s pop up 
um that is just me telling you guys where i got my supplies from and the a is amazon and the s is shein i am an avid shopper at shein and at amazon so this brush i got from shein and it's a dusting brush for your nails i do have a dusting brush but it was my makeup brush so it was real dusty and crusty so i was like let me just um buy another nail dusting brush this one right here is a kalinsky poly gel brush and then you have the born pretty seven color reflective gel polish and again i bought this kit because of glammed beauty she has all the nice stuff i'm telling you she has all the nice stuff but it's a seven um well she doesn't well she does have all the nice stuff but she knows about all the nice poly gel i mean not poly gels but all the nice um gel polishes and gel eggs and base coats and lamps and things like that she's excellent go check her out but yeah it's um seven colors and I think I said it already, but it's reflective. And I'm about to show you how they look. So this is how they look. And I think they're going, they will be so bomb if you had like a base under them. Especially a black base. The next thing we have is the Savvy Land Poly Gel Kit. Now this is an actual kit. I don't know the name of the kit, but I will link it in the description box. And this is a whole poly gel kit. It comes with um, nail forms, the base coat and top coat, dual forms, um, the solution, the poly gel brush, the hand file and then you get seven poly gels and i'm going to show you how they all look in in a little while it should be coming up soon but um just like the rainbow one it's a very soft type of poly gel it's not a, a hard or a stiffer poly gel um but you it's workable like you can work with it and in my opinion i would rather do a softer poly gel than a harder poly gel and i know it's weird of me saying that because i just purchased two poly gels from um my cart but i will always wanted to try my cart so i'm gonna try it uh yeah so it's it's a good it's a good um poly gel kit i love the brush on it the hairs are long it's not short like the uh like a normal poly gel brush so that's the good thing about it and i have so many um savvy land base coat and top coats because i also have uh i think a florence a fluorescent uh gel polish kit or a glow in the dark gel polish kit from them so I have so many of their base coats and top coats, but the real the reason why I got this specific kit is because of the orange looking one, which I thought was going to be orange, but it's not. It's actually a tomato red. Um, the next thing I have here is these um nail tips and as you can see the s popped up i got these from shein i also the reason why i bought these is because i watch a lot of korean or asian um nail techs or nail enthusiasts as myself and they use a lot of full cover tips and dual forms to do their nails and I felt like it was a good idea to have them, so I did buy them. Now, these are the long coffins, and um, the long coffin, the coffin ones are more on the, I can say, flimsy side. And these right here, these are the um, almond ones. And I don't know if this is because they're shorter, but they are a little bit more durable and they're not as flimsy as the 
coffin ones. So if you want to purchase these, just go to Shein.com and and get them. They're great. I used the, um, what is it? I used the, the coffin ones already. It was just a basic quick set. But these are really, really good. So now we're going to go into what I have in my nail art supplies. And this is not everything. This is just a few things that I wanted to show that I have. So here, these are nail art fruits. And they have all types of different fruits in them. Then we have these. Um, they were supposed to have been glow in the dark but they're fluorescent the only way you can see the shine is if they're under an led light or some type of led uv light and they're really nice really cute you can also find these on shein you can also find them on aliexpress also but they come with a a couple of different colors um, you have your green your orange your yellow your pink um, your blues you have I didn't it I wouldn't say it's purple but it's purple but it looks pink but it is purple so yeah these are these are actually really really nice I haven't got to use them yet um, the big ones that I'm showing like right now that look like they have like a little white paper on the back I don't I haven't tried it to the point where I can see if that white paper pulls off like comes off um but I do want to try these I the reason why I got these I got these at the beginning of the summer because I wanted to make a nail set with these colors so that is the reason why I bought them but things have been happening in my life and I just never got to it and now that it's the the fall basically the fall um I don't want to use them because I love fall and I want to do some fall nail sets and they the other sides are the the crystals the little eight the little round crystals like SS5 and things like that but they're really, really cute. I was so hoping I was going to be able to use them this summer. But again, life happens and things does not always go the way you want them to go. So, here it is. And that blue one at the end right, right there was so hard to come off. Like, I don't know what was going on. I don't know if it was glued down or whatever. But it was so hard to come off. And I did buy these off of Amazon, so I will link it in the description box if you want to purchase them. And I purchased them, I think it came as a set or a set or each one came different, I don't know. But I will link it. These also came from Amazon and these are just some clear rhinestones. Now let me tell you something. I've been doing my own nails for four years and I have never bought any type of crystals okay well i'm not going to say i've never brought any any type of crystals because when what was that brand that doesn't make the crystals anymore um i just got a brain fart <laughs> um but it was a brand that was selling crystals they don't sell them no more and i did buy a couple at the beginning because you know when you first start and you're seeing all uh, all the other nail enthusiasts and nail techs buying stuff you want to buy it too and at the end of the day it was like a waste of time and i started watching um femi beauty if you have not if you don't know who she is go check out her page on youtube she's bomb with the nails she's a nail enthusiast i haven't watched her in a minute but when i first started out doing my own nails i used to watch her all the time she's bomb um, and she's very pretty on top of that. But if you want to see her, her work, go to her her YouTube page. It's Femi Beauty. But yeah, anyways. Um, so I've never bought like crystals. I did um, probably at the beginning of this year. I did buy. 
I did go to Michael's and buy some crystals. And I'm going to be showing you guys those a little later on in the video. Or probably real soon. But I really don't buy Swarovski. There it goes. It came back to me. Swarovski crystals. I've never really bought any Swarovski crystals. I probably bought them once or twice at the beginning. And then I bought like six colors a few months ago or like the beginning of this year. And I never used them. So they're just sitting in my nail art kit. So yeah, I love rhinestones. And Femi um, taught me that also that you don't have to sit here and buy crystals for your nails to look nice and blinged out like if you could find you could find rhinestones that have good quality and the shine is excellent like these i got these off of amazon and they're not like those like you could tell if it's like plastic like they're like they have some weight to them and they're like really nice and really shiny and they are so much cheaper than buying crystals now if you're just doing your own nails at home and you don't want to invest in crystals, just go on Amazon or any other website. She and AliExpress, they have some good quality crystals, like really good quality crystals, okay? Not crystals, but rhinestones. They have some really good quality rhinestones. Now, the reason why I don't shop at AliExpress is because AliExpress take too long for me. And I'm patient, but I'm I'm impatient also. And from what I know, AliExpress can take up from four to eight weeks just to get to where you're at. You know, you know, and I don't have time for that. And here, here are some more rhinestones, but these are AB rhinestones and they are different um, shapes and different cuts and I got these off of Amazon also. And they're really they're really good too. Just like the clear ones. They're really good, really sturdy. They have some weight on them. Um and they shine like so cute. Like especially when the light hits them, they are excellent. Uh let's see. But these came with a whole a whole bunch of these crystals. And this i don't know if it came in this case exactly or if they came in like little those little plastic packs and i separated them i don't know i bought like i said i bought them a few months ago or a couple of months ago so i really don't remember but i like i am a stickler a stickler for having things in certain places so these have like teardrops, diamonds, hexagons, um, bars, every, like everything in them. And if, again, if you're only doing your nails, if you're only doing your own nails, rhinestones are the way to go. The only thing you can't do, well, I don't know, because even with um, good quality rhinestones, I feel like if you top coat them, they will be okay. So, but if you're doing your own nails at home, buy you some rhinestones. But if you want to be bougie and get um, some crystals, then go on right ahead. And I'm sorry, I was talking too much, but those blue little sheets were like little blue mats. I also have those in black. So here, in this, I have three cases that I'm going to show you guys. And these butterflies are from Shein. But this whole, the next three cases, the next two cases, in this case, these are little nail art charms and stuff and chains that I got from Amazon and Shein. But these butterflies, I will show you everything that came from Shein and things that came from Amazon but these butterflies are from Shein um these flowers um that I'm about to show you these came from Amazon and honestly I don't like them I don't like them okay I really 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 don't like them I tried to use it 
and I've used nail art flowers before so I'm not new to it and when I tell you as soon as the top coat touched it like they broke into pieces like as soon as I put it on top of the top coat it broke into pieces um this nail art chain this one came from Amazon um when you're um, getting nail chains from Amazon, just be careful and read the um, the length and the millimeters of the chain. Because I, from the picture on Amazon, I thought these chains was going to be so, so much longer than they actually were or are. And I was very disappointed. They don't feel like good quality. They're like really plasticky like hard plasticky like that it has that type of feeling this one also is from Amazon and again I thought these chains were going to be way longer than I thought that's why you always read the descriptions of the products you're going to be using because if not you will be so disappointed just like I am and I don't know, maybe I just was so happy about getting them that I just went and bought. I just got it. I seen it and got it, which I will never, ever do again. Now, this cream one that's coming up, these, this one, I think. Yes, this one and the rest of the nail art chains are all from Shein. And as you can look at it and see, they're way longer than the ones from Amazon but if I can find some on Amazon that is just like this I will link it in the description box and I got these in a few different colors from Shein I have them in cream I have them in different I think different color greens cream black brown white gunmetal gray or silver um bronze like I just have a, a variety of these chains and I have not used all of them yet the only one that I did use was the mint green ones and that's that was my first time ever like using it and again I bought this nail these nail art chains because again I watch a lot of Asian nail enthusiasts or nail artists or nail techs and they love using nail art chains and their um, nails be coming out so pretty so that's the reason why I bought it but I do want to start using them this one as you can see right here it has like this I don't know what color you would call that one right there but it came with these two colors inside the pack and they're like super extra long but they're really really cute again you could tell the difference in the quality from the ones that I bought on Amazon not saying that you can't find some good quality ones on Amazon but the ones that I chose were whack okay and this one right here it has a cream white and it has a regular white inside you really can't see it um this one has a silver and a i think it's two silvers it's like a silver a gunmetal and a gray so there's i think there's like three chains in there either, either three or two yes is two so there's a, a gunmetal gray and then there's a silver yeah it's three it's a silver a gray and then a gunmetal silver and they're really really heavy for them to be that skinny they really have some weight to them they're not cheap and these are the gold ones then you have the red ones I cannot wait for Valentine's Day because I'm going to use this ASAP so it comes with a darker red and then a lighter red one I thought that was just so cute 
that's the reason why I bought it. It was so, I was like, yes, I can use this for Valentine's Day, most definitely. And then you see you have purple and pink and orange. That's also there. And the second one, this is a mixture of things from Amazon and Shein also. These are nail foils. And these are maple leaves in different colors, which I got from Shein. And right here, these are the Swarovski crystals. These first one, two, three, four, and then I think I'm gonna point to them and show you which ones are the Swarovski crystals. And then we have these. Um, I don't know what you would call this one. I think this one is called, I don't know what color it's called. I don't think it's called AB. And it's not clear. But yeah. So these right here that I'm showing you, these are all Swarovski crystals. And I have not touched them or used them since I bought them. The first six that I pointed to are Swarovski crystals. These are not crystals. These and the clear ones are not crystals. Those are rhinestones. And these are my pride and joys. My little um, bow ties. And I love these bow ties. These nail art bow ties. Because they have the smaller ones like this. Have a curve in the back to fit the nail. So, oh my god. When I tell you I was so in love with it when I seen it. Just the fact that they are curved in the back and not just straight out like the bigger ones that is the reason why I bought them and I have them in a variety of colors I have them in pearl silver gold gold plated with pearls silver plated with pearls um AB bows it's just a, a variety of bows and right here I'm just showing you how well like they fit on the nail they're excellent they fit so well nothing is sticking out you probably just have to go around the edges with them um go around the edges with like a a nail uh, like a top coat a thicker consistency top coat just to seal around the edges so it won't like pull on your um on your hair or on your clothes and the reason why I bought these is because I wanted to start wearing them, but because of the field that I work in, um, you cannot do anything or have anything on your nails that can cause harm to, um, to the child because I am a daycare teacher and you don't want to be picking up a child one day and it scratches them like on their face or on their arm or something like that and then you have to explain that to the parents so but I will be using them I don't know when but I am going to use them but they're really really cute um, these are from Shein these are the bigger bows now the bigger bows they do not have um, that curve. They're just straight flat. So they will like stick out on the side. So you would have to reinforce it with um, a thicker consistency gel or um, rhinestone glue. And then go around the edges with them. So here I'm just showing you. Um, this is the gold plated the bigger ones gold plated with the pearls and silver plated with the pearls and these right here I bought them because I thought they were so freaking cute these are cherries and my one of my favorite fruits are cherries and I thought they were so cute I also have them in silver which I will be showing you soon but they're so cute and small and petite. And because of the gold plating on it, you will probably have to top coat it just so that it does not tarnish. And these, these are just some 
dangles with bows again yes i have an obsession with bows i don't know maybe that's because i want to have twin girls and they're going to have bows in their hair all the time i just love bows and it has like a little heart dangle on it if you don't want it to to dangle you could just reinforce it with some rhinestone glue And here, what are these? I think these are stars. Yes, they are like little dangly stars. Very cute and petite and small. And I don't know how much they were on Shein, but I know they are very affordable. And I think they came with like... I think it came for with like 10 of them and here is the silver cherries I got the gold one so I had to get the silver ones and here we have let's see oh these are crowns now let me tell you about this I wanted the gold ones also, but I'm not really a fan of gold. And I know you could probably like, girl, if you're not a fan of gold, then why you got so much gold stuff? But I wanted the the gold ones until I seen, sorry, that was a bus that just came past the window outside. I wanted the gold ones, but once I seen the silver ones, I was like, yes, I gotta have it. And then here is another nail art charm that I got for the summer that I never used. These are little bumblebees. They're really, really cute too. So the last box is coming up. And in this box we have um, just like little things. Got like little heart shapes I mean not heart shapes like moon and stars and and things like that which I really don't I don't know why I bought them but um yeah I have them and I really don't like like the little like I'm very I don't I wouldn't say tedious but I don't have the patience to pick out like little little charms and these are like extra little like and my eyes are already bad enough so i'm going to show you these right here these are not from amazon nor shein this one and the red one next to it these are actually you ready these are actually valentine's day um decorations the that you put on the table and I had so much of it left and I was like you know what I'm not going to sit here and waste it they will be really good for Valentine's Day to put on your nails so that's what I did and I kept them so it's just like a little some little knickknacks patty wax you know uh, a lot of different stuff in this one I don't know where this Pacific, specific, not Pacific, specific one that I'm showing you now. I don't know where I got those. I don't know why I got those, but I got them because I think they were pretty and I never, never used them. And I think I got those like a year ago. But yeah, I'm just showing you like little stars and moons and feathers and squares and circles and ovals. You know, I just keep this little stuff just in case an uh, idea pop in my head and I want to use it. I can. So, there you have it. And I have like rose gold, regular gold, and, like that yellow gold. I have them in so many different colors. And I don't use them. The, the crazy thing is, they always, you know those little pinwheels? 
um, that you get, um, you could order off of Amazon or like Shein or AliExpress, and they be having like all different types of decorations in them. That's where most of this stuff came from. I had like 15 of those little round pinwheels, and I ordered this storage box off of Shein. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to sit here and I'm going to separate all of them and put them in their own cases. And that's exactly what I did. It took me about two to three hours to do it. Some back pain and some finger pains, but I did do it. These hearts right there, I got those like two years ago. Okay, two years ago. I don't know... I think I used them. No, I don't think I ever used them. I don't think I ever used them. Nope, I never did. So, yeah. And then these are some flowers. Came in different colors. I got those like two years ago also. And I think I used them like one time. Didn't use them no more after that. These also, I don't know why I bought those but I bought them and in the last one we have I think there's like stars and circles and moons and stuff in these also nothing really too all you got hearts everything it's just a variety of of things that's in here But if I can find them, you can basically find them on Shein and you can also find them on Amazon, but I will look for them on Amazon and put them in the description box. So we're coming up on the last couple of things. And the next thing we have here is a brush set, a brush, excuse me, a brush set that I got from Shein, as you can tell, because the S popped up and I got these like a month or so ago and I did it because I wanted to make like little flowers on my nails and I never got the chance to do it but I do have them just in case I do want to use them and I most definitely got it for the middle one that one that I'm pointing at right there um that's that is a blending brush an ombre brush that's why I got that and next we have some nail foils now these nail foils let me tell y'all something Shein has the best nail foils they are so durable and thick and like pretty they're not that ch those cheap little flimsy nail foils that when you put the um, nail foil glue on, it does not stick. Like these stick and they stand out. So those two at the beginning were just extras. But this is my, I'm showing you guys my nail art foils. Um, how, what can I say? I'm not going to say it's a supply, but collection. Yes. And these are all from Shein every last one of them i bought i stopped buying nail foils from amazon because they are not the ones that i found are not of good quality and the case that they're in these are actually um marker cases i got from dollar tree or the dollar store yeah and they they it came in handy because i was like i got so many nail foils what i'm going to do with them and I wanted to get them out of the little case they came in. And I was at the dollar store and I was like, oh, this will work perfect for my, um, this will work perfect for my nail foils. And I have a variety. I have Halloween, Christmas, graffiti, pastels, lace. I have a whole bunch of nail foils i love nail foils like if you just want to do like a little quick design these days since i started doing my nails when i st first started doing my nails it was all about the bling and um 3d nail art for four years later i don't want to do none of that stuff i just want simple but cute so that's what i have here 
and as you can see one fell out so i have to go and roll it up and put it back but i have all types of cheetah prints the pastels i have flowers um flowers and floral prints i have valentine's day um <coughs> nail foils christmas the bumble i don't know if you guys can see it but there was a bumble beads right there in the the second in the left corner the second one in the left corner those were supposed to go with the bumblebee nail nail charms never got to use them but yeah if you want something quick and nail foils are easy to use it's the only thing you gotta find is a really good um foil glue but if you have really good nail foils you will also you will be good so in this last one um like i told you i have um cheetah prints all type of leopards cheetahs um snake skin uh, i think the bottom ones is valentine's day what else yeah got the black lace the white lace very cute very very cute so yeah these are nail not nail these are um the marker holders that my nail foils are in so we are coming up to the end of the video guys thank you for tuning in next time i am going to do a whole what's in my nail art supply storage video because i have six drawers full of a whole bunch of stuff this was just a little bit but thank you guys for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe and i will talk to you guys later bye